Yo, what is up guys? Back with another Forza Horizon 3 video. And today, basically, I'm just going to show you again how you can get more XP. Um, the money is involved as well. You can get more money from it. Um, but as you know, we're all about XP and leveling up, guys. <clears throat> so what, you wanna, what you're going to want to do is head over to the Skyline View Circuit. So if we head there now, we're going to fast travel. And basically I'm going to show you how to set this event up. So you're going to want to do the exhibition race. And you're going to want to blueprint it. So we're going to go to BMW. And you're going to want to go to race settings. So number of laps you're going to want to do 50. So we'll do 50 laps. We'll make it nice and we'll do that so car theme I'm gonna have it as BMWs and you want gonna want you, you can name it whatever you want um, but we're just gonna leave it as it is and create the blueprint so if we get into this you're also gonna want to have the go to progress and skill shop and you're gonna need the XP bump which gives you triple skills XP for the next three campaign races. So if we get into that now, exhibition and the skyline view circuit. And preferably you're gonna want a skills boost horizon edition car. So I'm gonna get into this now. So I'm gonna go with the BMW M3. I'm not sure if the settings are correct on this at the minute. So let's just have a look in the setup to see what it is at the minute. And this race is going to take you about an hour to complete. But at the end of it, it could be rewarding for you guys. I have seen some people do it already. Um, some people haven't been so successful in getting the... So we're just going to have it on average because you're not going to come first. So you're going to want traction control off as well and manual. So if we go with that, we'll put that off um, and it will give us more, more bonus credit. So that's fine as it is. So as I was saying, some people have already done this online. Some people haven't been so successful in getting the XP that they wanted. Um, not saying that I'm going to be successful, but I'm going to give it a go just to show you guys. So let's get into the event now and get it started. So you're going to want to hang back a little bit, just to let everyone go in front of you. Right, so you're going to want to get into this now, and preferably be in maybe third or fourth gear. And you're going to want to drift all the way around the circuit. So as you can see already, it's not going great, but we are getting some skill boosts. So the drifts aren't going as well as I would hope them to. You're just going to want to keep drifting as much as you can, basically, just to get those skill points up to get that XP. Um, I'm hoping maybe we get around 100 skill points each level. Um, I'm hoping. This might not happen, but... <clears throat> See if we can do it anyway. So you're just going to want to be careful so you don't, like what I've previously done, you don't um, spin out like this. I don't know why it keeps doing this. Uh, maybe I'm accelerating too quick. 
Just going to want to accelerate just a small bit, um, just so you get that perfect drift around the corner. There you go, so it's not too bad. Just keep drifting as much as you can around these laps. Maybe two laps will take you up to maybe 80,000, 100k. And we're going to try and get to 100,000. Oh, don't crash, don't crash. Perfect, so you didn't crash. Also, you're going to want to watch out for the other players when they come around the corners, because if they crash into you, then that's it, game over, you've lost your XP. Um, your skill boost, your skill points, you know, so. so, staying in third seems to be one of the best gears to stay in. Um, so, you just wanna, you're going to want to keep doing this just so you can get enough, basically. Um, and at the end of the race, hopefully, we get a good amount of skill points basically to level up a couple of times. And as I said before, just watch out for the other players. Because if one of them hits you or you hit them hard enough, then that's it, your score points are gone for that race. not doing so great at the minute um, with the skill points. I'm not getting as much as I'd like to and that's with the skill boost car as well. Oh, so close, knee crashed. Um, but yeah, this is basically what you want to do. And I mean, some people may be able to get more points. As you can see, I've got less points than the last race, the last lap. It is going to take you a while um, to get all of this done, unfortunately. But in the long run, it will be worth it. See that level up and that XP that you got in the whole of the race. Um, oh, right, there you go. That's just a prime example, basically. So. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to skip to um, lap 49 just so you guys don't have to sit through it. So I've gone and walked through to the second to last lap just so you guys can see at the end how much money you get and how much XP you get from this race. <clears throat> so I mean it has been... The race itself, doing 50 laps, has just taken me over an hour. Um, I'm not really trying to drift to get points anymore because it has become a bit soul destroying. So I'm just trying to get to the finish line just to basically see what um, XP we've got as it's on. I've got the triple XP on. So I'm literally just trying to find out now how much XP, XP we have got. Uh, the last one I saw someone do, they got uh, about 600,000. So, I mean, if we could get a bit more than that, that would be quite good. Um, but, I mean, anything with bonus really is going to level us up um, more than what we already are. So, uh, at the moment, I'm level 245. So, I mean, if you want to give this a go, then go ahead. It is quite soul-destroying. It takes over an hour. It's not too bad. Personally, I'd probably rather do 10 laps on... 10 or 20 laps, maybe, on the Goliath race. Um, but either way, it's not too bad. Hopefully, the result is quite good at the end. We're on to the last lap now, so let's see what we get at the end. Um, hopefully, it's quite good. I'm hoping it's in the millions. I'm hoping it's over a million XP. Um, if not, I'm going to be quite disappointed. But oh well, uh, what can you do? 
But, I mean, the Goliath race is quite good. You do get a lot of money from that, as well as XP. Um, most of the time, you don't get much, too much money. Um, you just get a hell of a load of XP. And so that's, I mean, that's what some people, some people care about, is just the XP. Because um, they make their money different ways elsewhere. Um, which isn't too bad. I mean, I've done the same. To be honest, I don't really... Not really bothered about the money because um, you also get the money from the wheel spins as well. So I mean, it's no biggie coming last because obviously you're gonna have to get around it. Um, you probably wanted to try finishing last just, just to see get what that it felt done. like, right? So Got let's you. have a look. You can go back to winning now. So rewards: 221,000 isn't too bad better than what I've had before. Okay, 823,000. That is quite good. So 225 to 286. That is a pretty good result. Um, I'm quite happy with that. So I'm going to end the video here now, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like, subscribe and comment. And make sure you uh, keep an eye out from, for my next videos. Um, Click the notification so you get a notification every time I post a new video. And yeah, just thanks for watching guys. Peace.